Hey guys, what's up? This is Robert from The Technology Flow, and today we will be taking a look at my top 5 Mac applications. Now, what better off to start with than Monster Ate My Homework? Now, this is a great app, and the best thing about it is that it's free, and you guys can get it right now at the Mac App Store. This game is very, very simple, and all you have to do is shoot the monsters off the cardboard box, and try not to get the homework off the cardboard box either, and the monsters tend to come in different shapes and sizes, and some blow up on impact, and this game gets really intense and really hard. Now, the next app we got is Daisy Disk, and you have to start off by scanning your drive. Now, this may take a while. It takes about five minutes for me, and all this application does is shows you all the files in a very pretty way. It displays them in a very nice manner and really helps you delete files. There are many applications out there that try to do the same job and try to help you find files to delete, but this just displays in a very colorful way, and it's actually fun deleting files. Now, I cleared about 70 gigabytes from this application of stuff that I did not need. You guys can pick this up for around $20. If you want, you can also try the free trial and see if you guys like it. And the third application we've got is Handbrake. You guys should all know this by now. What this pretty much does is copy CDs, DVDs to your hard drive, uh, even if they have the copyright notice on them. So this is really awesome. What I do is usually, uh, when I buy some movies, I back them up on my computer just to make sure if I ever lose them, I still have the file. This is a great and quick way to copy your DVDs, CDs, and you guys can also change the file size, change the profile, and it really works out great with what I need. And since this application is free, I think you guys should go and pick it up. Now, before we look at our last application, one more is MPEG Stream Clip. Now, this is great. It lets you play files that are not the same format that Mac use, like AVI or some other ones. And this is really universal app, and it really works great. And the reason that I like it is because you can also convert files. It is really great if you're working with another format, you can just convert it quickly and then you'll be ready to go to edit it or do whatever you want with the clip and it really runs smoothly and renders in the best quality it can. And this is by far the best converter app that is for free on the Mac. And whenever MPEG Stream Clip can't read a file, I've got VLC Media Player uh, to read the rest of my files. This reads, uh, I think, all files and it's just really really awesome and I can always depend on this to read whatever format I've got. It's got some different settings that you can change too but it's really great for just opening some files looking at them and I think I don't know what I would do without this if it wasn't on my computer. There are some alternatives to this and I just like this because it has a simple interface and is a very clean design.